Hey, I'm Matt with Meat Church. Let's marinate chicken in W sauce and make a delicious chicken sandwich. Well, welcome back. It's been a few weeks since we've released the video you guys have been noticing asking me where we're at. Well, we went down to our house in Florida for the summer. Didn't make any videos for a little bit. Uh, you know, I've drank every day this summer. My liver is talking to me. I have not put shoes on all summer and I clearly have not had a haircut, uh, which my wife isn't super happy about. She asked me why I didn't get it cut in Florida. And I'm like, look, you just don't take a Lamborghini into a 10 minute uh, oil change facility to get it worked on. So uh, now that I'm back, we'll, we'll address that after we shoot this video. But we're also obviously not in our outdoor kitchen. As you can see here, uh, we're in our barbecue supply shop for a couple reasons. One, it's uh, hot as hell in Texas. It's like 109 today. But uh, honestly, we just moved into a new location. We moved across the downtown Waxhachie Square into a much larger place that we're super excited about. And when we designed it, we created what I call this hangout area back in the corner where we've got a bar, we've got TVs with our videos, we'll have college football in the fall. And we set this up to be able to shoot some stuff here. So uh, we'll probably be shooting here for the next few weeks. Don't worry, we'll definitely use the outdoor kitchen as well, but my team will like me a little bit better if we shoot in here. But a lot of cool stuff in the store. You guys gotta come check us out uh, if you've never been to the shop. Obviously we've got all the Meat Church stuff here, including our badass new t-shirt wall, which everybody seems to love. We've expanded our grill selection. We're actually carrying several different brands of grills. Obviously, we sell a lot of Traegers. We're now carrying mill scale equipment. We are the only retail outlet in the country for mill scale smokers and yakitori grills. Uh, we've got some other grills here that you might want to check out. Uh, we've got a big fuel section where we do pellets, charcoal, chunks, splits. We even sell pizza wood. We're trying to have everything you need. Uh, if you need to cook outdoors, we want to have everything here so you guys can stop in and not just get meat church stuff, but get whatever the heck you want um, and need to cook for that particular weekend. But let's jump into this. So why am I doing another chicken sandwich video? Well, just over a month ago, we released our Mexican grilled chicken sandwich and it has absolutely blown up uh, in our Facebook group, the Meat Church Congregation. It's posted so often and I think it's actually pissed people off. But today's is something that I've wanted to do for a really, really long time. So we're gonna use the W sauce. I'm not affiliated with W sauce. I often say in 2023, anytime somebody talks about a product, you assume you're getting paid, I'm not. Um, Bear Holman on the label, dear friend of mine, Burton Young, great friends. Know them from the outdoor world. They released this sauce, and honestly, when I first heard they were going to do it, I kind of chuckled. And then I got this bottle, and I was like, this is legit. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's wildly popular now, but it's freaking delicious. And without knowing what to do with it, when I first got it, the first thing I did was I, I soaked chicken thighs in it. I've also done this with wings, and it was amazing. And based on how the last chicken sandwich went, I thought, well, I'm just gonna straight up do this for you guys. Not meant to be a commercial, but since we're here talking about it, they have a regular, they have a spicy called Fireshire. They've got two breakfast sauces. In Florida this summer, this was on my table every day. Uh, and they're not just good on breakfast, by the way. If you like tacos, y'all should get this. We obviously carry it here. One of the benefits of shooting in the new shop is I can just walk on over and I can pick these up off the shelf and put them in a video. But I highly encourage you to try this because it is amazing. In fact, I made it again uh, just three days ago. I've done it a bunch of different ways. Um, I've marinated in W and I've marinated in Fireshire. So if you like spicy, this will make an amazing spicy chicken sandwich. Um, if you don't want spicy, we'll just go with the regular, which is what we're gonna do today. So let's jump in, enough talking. So let's talk about marinating. I'm gonna do this in a vac seal bag and I'm gonna marinate for 24 hours. I've got eight boneless, skinless chicken thighs. That's all, I mean, it's just straight from the store. Did remove a little bit of fat off of these. I talk about this a lot in our videos. Marinate in what type of chicken you like. There's more flavor in thighs, and so that's why I'm going thighs, but if you like breast meat, then you certainly can do that. I like to marinate mine for 24 hours. You don't have to go quite that long. Anytime I do a video like this, you guys can decide how long you're marinating but 12 to 24 hours, either way, honestly, would be great. And I just put the whole bottle in here. If you were doing a bunch of chicken and you felt like you needed more sauce, you certainly could add a little bit of water to it. 
I'm gonna put it in a chamber sealer. Benefit a chamber sealer over a regular vac sealer, you can seal liquids. And you don't have to use a vacuum sealer, chamber sealer. You know, last week when I did this, I did it in Ziploc bags. Uh, when I can vac seal, I like to really to make sure that uh, marinade gets in there. Um, using my made with meat chamber sealer, I always get asked about this stuff. It's like commercial grade equipment, but for home use, um, I'll put a link down in the description. Any products I use, I drop links down for you guys to check out. And it's that simple. Off to the fridge we go, but I got some that we did yesterday that have been marinating for 24 hours so that we don't have to wait. Instead of just dumping this out, I'm actually gonna reach in here and just kind of pull these out. And all we gotta do is season them and we're gonna take them out to the grill. This is a very simple, delicious recipe. While I'm getting these out, I'll talk about this. I like to grill thighs really hot. You could grill on anything you want. Uh, we're gonna grill on a Traeger today, but you can use whatever you got. And I've been getting a lot of questions lately about, could I do this in my oven if you don't have a smoker? Smokers are just smoky ovens. So yes, you, will, you'll, you, know, you won't get the smoke flavor, but you obviously can replicate anything we do on a smoker uh, in the oven. I'm gonna season with our Holy Voodoo. It's an all-purpose with a slight kick. You guys know it's one of our more popular rubs. You can season what you want. I've also done this, I've done this with a lot of different seasonings in our arsenal. Um, I've used our fajita, which there's no sugar in that. And if you're like a carnivore or keto guy, you could do holy cow uh, or uh, fajita, those are great. But I just think an all purpose on this is good. When you marinate, the marinade is gonna be the predominant flavor. So that's, when you bite into this, it's gonna taste like W sauce, which is, I didn't say enough about it in the beginning. It's a, it's a really, my words, a complex Worcestershire sauce. It's not like cheap $2 stuff that you buy at the store. That's it, we're good to go. And this stuff's already wet. I'm not gonna let it adhere. You can, you can let this sit and soak in for as long as you want, but this is for lunch for my team today. So we're gonna head outside to the Traeger and cook. <laughs> Really excited to be here in our new location on the square, right across from the gorgeous uh, Ellis County Courthouse. A little known fact, that's where I was married. Next to the newly renovated Texas Theater, which is badass by the way, we're actually gonna do barbecue schools in here coming up. Just got our brand new sign put on the building. Previous tenant, friends of ours, been here since 1959, and we fashioned our sign after their sign to pay homage to that family. So super cool spot, but let's talk about cooking. We're running 450 degrees with hickory pellets. You could grill chicken at whatever temperature you, you want. Like I mentioned earlier, you could go a little lower if you want to be smoky. I don't want to be rubbery. I just like to go hot. Um, on a pellet grill, you don't even have to flip them. I will flip them one time, throwing these thighs in. You got to cook chicken to at least 165, but the beauty of thighs, so much moisture in them. You can cook them 175, 185. I know a lot of people like my son that likes char on their chicken, so I usually go above 165. Cook time is gonna be probably no more than 15 minutes. I'll flip them late in the cook and then I'm gonna top them with cheese for like the last minute to make it super melty. That's all we're gonna do. That was obviously super easy. It took right at 15 minutes for the chicken to get to 165. I opted to lay down pepper jack cheese just to give it a little bite. Use your favorite cheese. And that cheese stayed on for about a minute. I like it super melty. And then we're gonna build a sandwich. We've already toasted our buns. I butter my buns and then toast them. Super simple. And y'all know Duke's is the only answer. Don't hit me with the blue, pa blue plate business. That's not even a, a thing here. You want that twang. QP's good, but I love this. So I'm gonna go uh, lettuce, tomato, bacon on mine. I put lettuce on the bottom. Some people question that, by the way. Why do you do that? It, it catches the moisture that comes out of the tomato, the juice from the chicken, you know, whatever the case may be. So it's like a little bib. 
And then obviously we've got some bacon going to make this uber delicious. Top it, that's it. You can also just eat these plain. It's cooled enough so we don't have to wait. Wait a minute, I need something to drink. Guess what, we got something cool. Whew. I have my own beer. Come shop with us on Saturdays and you too can have some free meat church beer. Good Lord, that's sexy. Okay, now we're ready. That is so freaking good. All you taste is a W, hinted by this other stuff, but it's one of the most delicious chicken sandwiches. Like, and how inexpensive was this, to be honest with you, but man, I did like the Mexican grilled chicken, very, very good, but that, it's so juicy. Not only do you get the flavor um, from the W sauce in the marinade, but anytime you marinate for 24 hours, you're imparting even more moisture. Thighs already had moisture. Cheese on top, that is like amazing. And so is that, by the way. 109 degrees outside, Fort Worth craft beer in my hand. Life is good. Glad to be back. Uh, if you guys like this, you know the deal. Like and subscribe, tell all your friends about us every Wednesday. We drop straightforward how-to cooking videos on this Meat Church channel. We'll see y'all next week. Mm -hmm.